Hello everyone, welcome to Art Mancy. I am the Art Oracle and today we are doing a paint pour Art Mancy reading for our week of July 1st through July 6th. So go ahead and go down to the timestamps below, find your sign and dive in. Hello Aries, welcome to your July 1st through the 6th weekly paint pour reading. Well, I did your paint pour and I noticed something really cool. You're going to be very focused on home and hearth. In this upcoming period in your life, there's going to be a new moon in Cancer. So it's going to emphasize your home and family. And I see this beautiful outstretched bird here with these purple wings and a beak. The bird symbolizes nesting. It symbolizes domestic life. What makes you cozy? Aries, what makes you feel safe? Are people giving to you at home? Are you giving to others? Could you give more? Or could others maybe be able to give you more in return for what you do for them? I would start with like small thoughtful changes like birds that nest, they bring in like twigs, they bring in other plants. Maybe you wanna buy a new plant for your home or maybe you wanna like revamp the way that you're cooking and get some new cookware so that you can have more enjoyment and fulfillment in the process of cooking when you're at your domestic dwelling. Don't forget your self care Aries. Don't forget to embrace the energy of being cozy in your home place, maybe by reading books, meditating, or just being just more comfortable. This is going to be about family, children, possibly about uh, family members that live with you, a spouse. How can you make your home and dwelling more comfortable for you all? Let's just pull one tarot card for you and the week of the first through the sixth. Universe, give us some more insight on Aries and this idea of home and hearth. How can they start with small changes? Let's see here. Look at there, we have the nine of cups. Let's look at there, Aries. This is perfect, the perfect card for this reading. Enjoy yourself, indulge a little bit, enjoy your home with others. And let them dote upon you and you dote upon them. Have a little bit of indulgence. Have a good time. Be content with your home life and make yourself more comfortable. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful week. Peace. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly paint pour. I got something really cute that I noticed in here. It's like a little duck. Do you see him? There's his little beak in his head. And I think that overall, this upcoming week from the first to the sixth, you're going to have an overall theme of community and communication. Think of the duck. Think how they quack. Think about all the noise they make. Speak up for yourself. Speak your mind. Ducks are known for their ability to have teamwork within their groups also. This is a, a theme that's going to be a major energy in your upcoming week. Think about speaking and teaching and like some kind of endeavor that you're going to be going to. Focus on communicating with the people around you and make sure that they understand you clearly. Ducks are very expressive verbally as an animal. And this can lead to new friendship and new opportunities. This is a really good period to start new projects and strengthen relationships. So let's go ahead and pick a tarot card. Universe, give us some insight into this communication and all this noise we're going to be making. Universe, give us some information and some insight. Oh, into Taurus. Let's see. The Ten of Cups. It's all about community. It's about a group of people. And it reminds me of the duck in the water. This imagery here of him being in the water. Ten of Cups represents like a harmony and some kind of like domestic emotional fulfillment that you're going to get from other people in a community that you're in at home, a community at school or at work. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful wonderful week Taurus. Bye-bye. Oh Gemini, welcome to your weekly paint pour art mancy reading. Let's go ahead and dive in here. I almost redid your paint pour until I noticed a hair in the image of your paint here. Do you see his little head there with the eye? 
There's his long legs and he's running after something that he wants. This week from the 1st to the 6th, you're going to be experiencing something somewhat of a birth and like a fertility and growth in your money and your finances. You need to start thinking more about your budget. Start thinking more about your financial goals. The rabbit or the hare represents growth and like meticulously going after what you want. You need to truly focus on the, what is valuable to you in your life. The rabbit is known for its agility and its keen senses, just like you need to approach your financial aspirations. So rethink your spending habits and just get more in alignment with what you value. Let's go ahead and pull a tarot card for you. Universe, give us a card for Gemini and the week of the first through the sixth. What do they need to know, Universe? Give us a card for Gemini from the week of the 1st through the 6th for Gemini and their finances, money, rethinking their values. You have the death card. This is about some kind of financial rebirth. Just as a death card represents transformation, it also signifies rebirth and some kind of renewal. And in context to your finances, this could mean like a period of financial renewal. So let go of fear. There's something that you may not want to do, you may be afraid to do as it is regarded to your finances. But just look for some like new opportunity to be reborn and rethink everything when it comes to your money. Thank you so much, Gemini, for tuning in. I'll see you next Next time, peace. Low Cancer. So let's get ready to explore how your week is going to bring you something new that you may not be expecting. I was going to do your reading over, but then I noticed this beautiful dragon in your paint pour. Do you see his eye here and his body kind of bends this way? And there were two little fish down there that I also noticed. You have a lot of water going on in this paint pour. You're gonna have like a, a lot of emotional security and like dragons symbolize strength and protection. This is like a time for you to fortify your emotional foundations and create like a nurturing environment for yourself. Dragons are like guardians of layers, just as like you are the guardian of your home. Focus on strengthening your bonds with your family members, plan quality time together to initiate heartfelt conversations and really just focus on yourself you do have a new moon coming up in your first house of self it's going to be in cancer so you know uh, the dragon embodies a lot of things that pertain to transformation reflection and your emotional journey so this new moon it's going to invite you to explore your inner world and it's going to uh, invite you to explore how you can heal or maybe how you give to others and how they give to you cancer in the home specifically or wherever you may call home you may be rethinking your fashion also dragons are very stylish and can, you know cancers crabs they kind of put things on their shell they put different shells they put different things that they find on the beach so you might be rethinking how you look but let's go ahead and pull one of these tarot cards for you and i hope it does not fall in this paint universe give some insight into cancer and this new moon coming up for them in their sign this paint pour and this symbolism of this dragon universe give us some insight into this symbolism of this dragon it also can remind me of a a kind of a seahorse universe oh lord it fell in the paint okay the world you got the world card and it's really synonymous with this dragon because it represents like an integration of things protection and wisdom and like dragons they often are depicted in mythology as like being immortal or long-lived creatures so this symbolizes like an eternal cycle of like a rebirth there's something that you're going to be putting to rest and being reborn about when i think of the world also i think about dragons like flying above the world and above it all they are above like the mortal creatures on the ground and they know how to navigate the world with grace and strength so remember that this new moon is all about you thank you so much for tuning in cancer bye bye Hello Leo, welcome to your July 1st through July 6th Art Mansi Paint Pour reading. So the first thing that I see here is a stag or a horse. I'm not sure if you see it, there's the head there. 
and there's its little chest, its arms are reaching down, and there is a harness or a strap going over its chest and neck. So during this new moon coming up, you're going to have like a lot of energy activating your the section in your chart that rules over religion, tarot, therapy, and spirituality. And I really think that seeing the harness across this horse's chest really makes me believe that you need to harness your spiritual powers. You need to harness the spiritual powers that you have not really been attuned to because you've been focusing on how you perform and how you show up in the world. Focus on harnessing your strengths, embrace like the Cancer New Moon energy and nurturing your spiritual energy and your spiritual strengths to get more vitality. Resolve these issues with your, in, within yourself to embody more courage and confidence. Embody the energy of the horse with confidence and like pursuing your goal and going after, after it with like an assertive leadership kind of mind. Take inspiration from the horse because it gallops fearlessly. Leo, take bold steps towards your inner dreams and use your intuition at this time to get into things that you normally wouldn't, as I said before, like tarot and spirituality. Let's go ahead and draw a card for you, Leo. Horses are uh, very bold. They have a lot of strength. And we need to make sure that you're showing up and harnessing this energy of boldness and strength. Leo, this is happening in your 12th house. This is going to be a very deep moon for you. Universe, give us some insight into this horse and this harnessing of the Leo energy, universe. Give us some insight into the energy that Leo needs to be aware of for this new moon. Universe, give us some energy. Universe, give us some energy and some insight into what Leo needs to know about this new moon and harnessing their power of the 12th house. Ten of coins. This is involved with family, Leo. Just like the Cancer Moon, this is a common theme I keep pulling up for everyone, is family legacy and loyalty. The Cancer New Moon is going to be about family and how you support others and how they support you. You may want to think about these 12th house issues, like your subconscious, your um, psychological uh, well-being, and how you show up for your family and how they show, for, show up for you. Do they support? your dreams so this coin really pertains to family legacy and financial security you need to think about the spiritual transformation you've undertaken recently you may be thinking about like your ancestral co uh, connections or some kind of healing and closure that you need to undergo in order to receive this happiness that you re deserve the 12th house is about your subconscious like I said before it's about art tarot getting into things that are much deeper than like the surface level it's more about how you show up physically because you're represented by the sun but think more about your um spirituality help counseling and maybe think about getting counseling with family thank you so much for tuning in leo i'll see you next time peace Hello Virgo, welcome to your July 1st through July 6th Art Mancy Paint Pour reading. So let's dive into it. The theme of your reading for this week is the whale. I don't know if you see them, but I see two. Here is the body of the whale. There's his tummy and the yellow part there is his eye. And you can also see him here. There's the whale's head. There's his mouth, there's his eye. So this upcoming week, it's going to be about nurturing your connections and your intuition with other groups. So just like whales, no, they're known for their deep insights and like their communications. They're known for speaking deep in the waters to other whales and they form really impactful and deep bonds with each other. So you need to think about the trust you have with other in, others in these groups and Maybe think about how you can seek like more emotional depth with other groups and other people. What are your bonds like with other people? You're going to have some kind of new direction in this avenue of communication with some kind of group of people. Are you in a group online? Are you in a group, a, a book club or a knitting club or in a group at school? Just like whales, explore vast oceans, Virgo, and embrace like the create, creative opportunity to speak 
with these groups and express yourself. This is an ideal time to express yourself creatively and explore new avenues with others. It's a new beginning that you're going to have. Whales are known for being very graceful and having like wonderful, beautiful movements in the water. So strive for some more balance at work, you know. And oh, look at that. We got the Queen of Cups, which is a perfect whale card for you in this week. This involves more water. Something that you're going to be doing with a group is going to give you some kind of emotional fulfillment. The Queen of Cups just gives like an outpouring of support and like something that other people need that she gives them to make them feel whole. And you're going to get some kind of self-satisfaction from this community that you're in. Just like a coral reef and the animals that live in the ocean, the fish that live in the ocean. The Queen of Cups signifies a loving, supportive relationship and some kind of like um, strength and bond with that involves empathy. So thank you so much, Virgo. This is a wonderful card to get for your week. I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello and welcome to your July 1st through July 6th Art Mancy Paint Pour Reading. First off, I noticed all these little dots in your reading, which are a main focus, and they are all aligning here right there. And there are some that stray to the sides. But overall, I see like a major theme for you with bringing in money and things aligning for your career. During this new moon coming up this week, you need to think about your career and all the hard work that you have put into it. It's starting very small. It's grown into something very beautiful. And it's going to kick off like you have a huge alignment here. I'm not sure if you can see that dot there, 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 and over here. But it's been an evolution and it goes from a very cool blue to this kind of fiery red. You have something that you have built upon. I even see a dot there. You've been very diplomatic and you've been worrying about your leadership role. And whatever this is that you're trying to kick off the ground, people are going to start to notice you. And you're going to see some more balance playing out with your partnerships and just to the aesthetics of like your influence on the public how other people see you public your career your your authority so let's get a little more clarification i'm gonna pull a card for you something is lining up libra i'm very excited for you something is lining up I'm just put this to the side universe give us some insight into libra and this new moon they're going to have in their Universe, give us some more insight into this alignment and things falling into place for Libra. Universe, give us some insight into this alignment and things. We have the star. I'm sorry about the airplane. I know it's loud. Maybe that's like an omen about something like up in the air, you know, flying over everyone else. You're going to be the star, Libra. I don't know what, what else to say. As it pertains to this fifth house, you have something that you've been working on ambitiously. People are gonna like see the, your aesthetics. They're gonna see how you dress. They're gonna just notice you and I'm so excited for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time, peace. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your July 1st through July 6th art mancy art paint pour reading all right let's dive in here there's something very special that i see i just want to make sure that you can see it too do you see that face here i just want to make sure you can see that it's like a face here on like a dragon body with that dot there yeah this is interesting this is so interesting for you you're about to have like a ninth house revamp the ninth house rules over education learning you're gonna be honing in on some skill possibly some skill that you're gonna use to do something successfully in the future it's about higher learning philosophy you might be learning about art just something with depth like something spiritual could be tarot this creature here, I hope I'm not saying it wrong, forgive me for any Chinese speakers, but I think it's a Zulong. It is a mythical creature in Chinese mythology and it's often referred to as the torch dragon and it is like a symbolism of wisdom. And the Zulong is responsible for controlling day and night as well as changing the seasons. It's kind of like Sagittarius and your ninth house is going to be getting revamped. 
So think about getting in alignment with like matters that are related to like your beliefs and education. Cause just like the Zulong is associated with fire and light. And it just like suggests this period of you igniting these things in the ninth house that embody like a transformation of how you think about things. Maybe at night start reading something or at day take time to take a class. This is going to be an ideal period for you to like do some kind of mental glow up or like philosophical glow up. Explore new perspectives and just engage in learning some new experience. Let's get some clarification on this universe. Give us some insight into Scorpio and this new moon that they're going to be having in their ninth house. Universe, give us some inspiration and some insight into this illumination. I love that. The Wheel of Fortune. This is changing cycles and just like the Zulong changes the seasons, the card of the Wheel of Fortune is about a changing of cycles. Think of just, just think of a wheel and the th different rungs on the wheel and how it changes from rung to rung, just like seasons, just like periods in our life and just like this transformation you're about to undertake. Research some more about this creature because I think it's going to be very compelling to you in this time where you're going to find some kind of adventure and expansion in your mind. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Scorpio. I'll see you next time. Peace. All right, Saji. I just did your paint pour. You have a new moon going on in your eighth house of rebirth, the taboo, the house of Scorpio. So let's go ahead and dive in here. This is your paint pour art Mancy reading for July 1st through the 6th this week. And I have to say, I notice a very phallic symbol here. You're going to be diving deep into some kind of like taboo thing. You're going to be diving deep into something that maybe you're not accustomed to. It could be tarot. Let's say you're a very analytical, thinking, logical person because I know you, Sagittarius. Um, you're going to be getting into something that you're not accustomed to. And that's okay. And it's going to be like in a good way, in a new way, in a fresh way. I want you to think about like intense things and emotional things that are going to give you some kind of regeneration and rebirth. You could be like revamping up your sex life with your loved one. I do see a couple of dots on this phallus. So it could be something that you're doing that's going to be bringing some money in that involves something taboo. It could be some kind of like shared resources. Maybe you have a partner that's going to be bringing in some money for you. But I definitely see a phallic symbol which re represents potent see power and just like a life force you're going to be doing something um that has something to do with the psychological it's very unlike you i feel sagittarius because you lean towards like learning about religion when pisces might you know fully believe believe in the spirit and the power of religion so this is going to be something that's going to really challenge you and it's going to challenge your um dynamic in the way that you that, that you transform yourself so you could be doing something that involves your partner like i said before something taboo let's go ahead and get some insight here what is little saggy getting into it's something different saggy that's going to involve a lot of passion a lot of emotion you might have somebody who's a scorpio the lovers like i said before i see I, it might be like a revamp in your love life or in some kind of like shared resources you have with someone else it's just this is about partnership or something that you share with someone else this is about sex this is about bonding and like a deep transformation you're gonna be changing you're not even gonna recognize yourself when you get finished with this thank you so much sagittarius i'm looking so forward to this naughty transformation you're about to undertake have a good week thank you peace all right capricorn hello and welcome to your art mancy paint pour reading for july 1st through july 6th so the most major theme i can notice in this reading is the theme of yin and yang of male and female duality you're going to be undergoing some kind of great new beginning with your personal relationships relationships with your spouses relationships with siblings relationships with family and just people overall 
Capricorn, I really feel like this is something that you have been kind of putting at the back burner because you've been focusing a lot on your career, but there's about to be a revamp in this area. I don't know why this reminds me of like a beautiful, lovely figure outreached here, but there's going to be some kind of unity and some kind of new beginning in your relationship. This is about how you nurture others. Are you showing up for your partnerships? Make sure that you're giving an equal amount to your partnerships. Take the time out of your day to text your partner. Take the time out of the day to send them a love letter, a love note. I feel like a lot of you, your partners may have been helping you, you a lot recently with your careers or your uh, personal endeavors. Just make sure that you take out the time in your day to say thank you to them. And then and vice versa, this may be a time when your partner may be paying you a little bit of extra attention. The yin part of the yin and yang represents like a nurturing or an introspection, more of the feminine qualities and feminine principles of the yin and yang. And the other side represents like action, assertion, and like an outward expression. So you just need to make sure that you have a balance right now in your life, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and get a little more insight by pulling a card for you. Universe, give us some insight into Capricorn. We have the Four of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Okay, this is a card of like rest and like solitude, retreat, recovery. You may need to take some time to like just recuperate, spend some time with your loved one. You've been working really hard at something and you need to rest. So take some time to like recuperate. Maybe do the lighter side of your business and give the, the like harder side a little bit of a break. Your partner needs some love. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Peace. All right, hello there, Aquarius. Let's get into your July 1st through July 6th Art Mancy paint pour reading. I had to sit here for a minute and figure out what this was in your image, but it's a shrimp. Absolutely. Do you see the shrimp's body there? Maybe his little eye right there. Shrimp are translucent. You can see what's going on in their body. And I believe that with this new moon coming up in your house of self-care, physical well-being, and productivity, you need to think about yourself as if you were transparent. What if you could actually see what was going on in your own body? What if you could actually see your digestion and your heartbeat? You might take better care of it. So just take some time out to like, Think about your hygiene. Think about your your um, approach to work and health. What are your routines? Shrimp symbolize the uh, sixth house because they focus on their like adaptability and their daily routines. What are you eating? What are you drinking? They're very clean and they're actually, I believe, the cleaners of the ocean. They symbolize growth and improvement and they're really related to like um, service oriented tasks because they serve us all by cleaning the ocean. Shrimp are associated with purification and reflecting the need for maintaining order and hygiene in your daily life. So, so think about how you're showing up to take care of yourself just like the shrimp. How are you cleaning your environment? Are you flexible in your environment? Five of coins, let's see here. Have you abandoned your health as of lately? You're gonna get some kind of new start. Make sure that you don't regret not taking care of yourself. Make sure that you don't have some kind of feeling of grief or loss about your health and start now. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to improve on your health and your well-being so that you won't have any regrets about how you feel in the future. And I want to thank you so much, Aquarius, for tuning in. I will see you next time. Peace. All right, welcome Pisces, my last and favorite sign. Welcome to your July 1st through July 6th paint pour artmancy reading. And the major theme of your reading for this week is the dolphin, the animal that symbolizes playfulness and joy and creativity. Dolphins are often seen as symbolizing uh, intelligence and joy and they're fun to be around everybody wants to see them do you see that shape there there's the dolphin there's his little fin and there's his eye before I continue to shake your uh, paint pour there were a lot of waves around here have fun
this month. Have fun learning about other cultures. Have fun learning about like connections with other people you can create and bond with. Um, enjoy hobbies, romance, children. Are there kids around you that you could take to the park or take to um, some kind of amusement park to have some fun with cousins, friends, your own children. Just connect to your intuition also. Um, dolphins are very intuitive. This is a great time for you to connect to your intuition because I, Pisces, I know above all signs that being intuitive and maybe playing with tarot cards or doing something with astrology is really fun for us. And that's something we delight in. Do something creative. Dolphins are creative. Embrace this playful side. Find some joy and some kind of artistic pursuit. And connect deeply with your emotions and your gifts, Pisces. You know, go out with your partner. Have a good time. Have fun. Do the things that are fun for you. Universe, give us some insight into Pisces. Insight, universe. Let's see here. The Ten of Cups again. I pulled this card for I believe Aries, just enjoy yourself, enjoy your family. You have a lot of support around you. You have a lot of people loving you. And I, I love how it's more water in this image. You're going to just be enjoying yourself. This is a card of harmony and domestic bliss. Watch a movie at, at home with your spouse, Netflix and chill. Get into something that gives you some kind of emotional pleasure. And thank you so much Pisces for tuning in. I'll see you next time, peace.